okra, sometimes called ladyfinger or bindi, is a kitchen garden essential for cuisines such as Cajun, Indian, African, and it's served all over the southeast part of the United States. I'm going to show you how to grow some. This gorgeous plant will grow to about five feet tall and will provide beautiful hibiscus-like flowers and seed pods that are yummy all summer long. Spineless green okra is a gardener's favorite as it is easier to harvest and it produces abundantly. Red okra is a pretty choice for pickling and raw eating. However, the pods will turn green if cooked. Okra loves the heat. It can grow in any zone where corn and melons can be grown. If you are in too cold of a zone, try growing them in containers in a greenhouse or in a warm area. You can plant okra seeds directly in the garden as long as the soil temperature reaches 75 degrees. If you want a head start, you can start your seeds three weeks before the last frost date in the greenhouse. Okra sprouts better if you pre-soak the seeds for 12 hours before planting. If you will be planting indoors, use biodegradable pots or soil blocks so you don't disturb their sensitive roots when transplanting. Okra plants tolerate just about any kind of garden soil, so as long as they get full sun and a little bit of water, they should grow pretty well. Transplant or thin your plants to one to two foot spacing with three feet between rows. Since it gets so big, consider how it will shade nearby plants when planning where to grow it. Mulch your okra plants when they're about four inches tall to prevent weeds and to keep the soil moist. And watch out for common pests like aphids, flea beetles, and stink bugs. And for more information about that, check out our organic pest control videos. You should be able to start harvesting your okra about two months after planting. So stay tuned to the next session of Growing Okra when we'll be harvesting and preparing and grow organic for life.